Howdy, homesteaders. Uh, I just want to kind of touch base with you today. I'm just mowing the grass, and yes, I'm covered in grass. And uh, I've got a halfway good reason for that. Um, the reason why I'm covered in grass is the lawnmower I have, I guess a lot of lawnmowers these days, they shoot the grass out the back instead of out the side. And uh, I'm sure they make something for it. Um, but uh, anyway, if I put the door down, uh, it gets choked up with grass. It, sh it shuts off the mower. Uh, I stop every couple minutes. So what I've decided to do is I kind of, you know, set it up to where that door is always open. And I get sprayed with grass, but the job gets done. I, I know there's a better way to do it, but... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not really too concerned about it, but that's not what the video is about today. Uh, today, uh, the video is about uh, my lawnmower. Now, I have a uh, Husqvarna uh, all-wheel drive, and uh, the main reason why I got this mower is that uh, the hillsides here are really steep, right? And I have a riding lawnmower, but I'm not going to take the riding lawnmower up these steep hillsides. I'm just not going to do it. Um, so I, I figured I'd do a push lawnmower that's self-propelled, all-wheel drive, gets up the hill just fine. And it's been working great. I used it all last year. Uh, no problems. I mean, it's working great. But uh, uh, it is an all-wheel drive, so when you pull down on the lever, all four wheels are turning, and it pulls right along. And it works great until it breaks. So uh, I put it through a lot of abuse. Uh, I admit, I'm not going to uh, say anything bad about the lawnmower. Uh, it works when I want it to work. Uh, but I put it through a lot of abuse. I go over rocks. I go over uh, sticks all the time. And, you know, we pick up rocks. We pick up sticks. But uh, it seems like it doesn't matter how much rocks we pick up, there's always more rocks uh, that show up. Uh, so I still end up hitting rocks. I still end up hitting sticks. And uh, what's happened is, is there is a belt system that goes underneath this mower, right? And it engages with the uh, blade. There's a pulley on the shaft to the blade that this belt goes from uh, this back tire right here, right? It snakes around through the bottom and connects to the top one right here, and it's just kind of in there. The belt's in there, right? And what's happened is either a rock or a stick or something gets jammed in that belt. The belt doesn't want to turn, right? So then... It stops propelling forward. It doesn't move anymore. And then you start smelling rubber. <laughs> Stop. So uh, that's what I did. I shut it off. Uh, you know, and your first, your first response is take it back to the store. It's a piece of junk, you know, uh, or uh, whatever, you know. And that's, that's maybe the, the first thing to do. But don't do that. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. At least I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, I don't know if it's covered under the warranty or not. Uh, I find in, in my context, uh, every time I ever try to deal with any warranty, there's always 10 reasons why they say they can't pay for it. <laughs> and it's a lot of stress. It's a lot of hassle. If they ask me for additional warranty at the store, I always say no. Uh, and the reason why is because I've never really been able to collect on a warranty I've ever paid for. Uh, so I just don't want to spend my time going in there, hassling with the stores, trying to get my warranty and all that stuff, uh, I just don't want to do that. And, uh, you know, and if, you know, if it would have been easier that way, then that's on me, all right? Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix the problem, okay? So this has actually happened once before, so I pretty much know what to do now. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to look at where the pulleys are, and the first ones I'm going to check which is probably most likely where the problem is, is right here. And how I'm going to do that is this actually comes out, and then I'll be able to get into the pulley area right here and then clear the problem. And the belt is a little loose. Uh, it has smoked it a couple times. Uh, so eventually I'm just going to have to break down and get a new belt. Um, but it's not a problem with the machinery. Um, most times, I think belts are considered to be a consumable. So, under that reasoning, I just didn't think that the warranty would have anything to do with it. Uh, especially just being the out-of-the-box factory warranty anyway. <clears throat> so, I'm 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and get that fixed, and I thought I'd just bring you along. Now, the first thing I'm going to try to do is uh, this right here, this door, is just it's just in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to secure this back. And it's hard to do this one-handed. I'll do my best. So I pull this back, and I just need something that's going to hold this in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... Uh, bungee cords that I was using to yeah, the bungee cords that I was using to kind of hold it up out of the way anyhow I'm going to try to do that uh, let's see if that works oh that's not working too good okay I'll try to find something else Okay, what I've done is I've taken the uh, bungee cords that I used to secure it up out of the way, and I've kind of hooked one end up here. The other end I've kind of stretched all the way down to there. So uh, hopefully that doesn't move and hit me in the face. I've got further modified it. To increase the tension, I've taken it from here, wrapped it around that one over here, and then brought it back up. So really... Uh, uh, this is just the way I'm doing this. I'm sure there's a better way. I just don't want to have to take that door off. Um, I just want to try to go ahead and get it done without taking that off. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get these wheels out of my way. Uh, there's actually a connection back here that I need to get to. Uh, and these wheels are in the way. Uh, but that's a relatively easy thing to do. All i got to do is I bring it over this edge. Kind of let it sit over the edge like that and then this height adjuster I adjust the height let's pull it out and just pull it down past the last click all the way past it and if you go past the last click it just keeps on going it keeps on going and boom now it's out of the way all of this right here is not opened up this is what I was trying to get to right there I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Uh, now if you look really close here, you can see that that connector is a star bit. Now I don't have a star bit, but what I do have is my little Allen wrench set and uh, I have two sets I have metric and standard this is standard and I'm gonna just use this right here and even though it's not a star bit uh, it actually can go in there and it can turn it as long as you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it and with this application you don't it doesn't, it's not on there with a lot of pressure when you tighten it you don't want to super tighten it so it actually comes out pretty easy, and I just use an Allen, Allen key. And as you see, it came right out. And there's another one right here. You gotta loosen that. Always put your screws and bolts and everything uh, in a place where you're not going to lose them. Um, just be careful what you're doing. Uh, typically, if I was working on a car or something, I would actually put them inside of a, a Ziploc bag or something so they wouldn't get lost. But this is a pretty easy job. I don't have to do that here. Okay, let's go ahead and do this other side. Just a little repetition.
here. Okay, now that I have all those bolts out, uh, this back part, now that the wheels are down out of the place, I got those two bolts out on both sides. Uh, now it just pivots on this bottom shaft. So all I gotta do is I pull out on this, wiggle it, right? Pull it out. It's actually easier coming out than it is going back in. So you know, you pull it out, yank on it, right? And it just pivots right down. Okay, now it's pivoted open. Now I have open access uh, to the pulley area. Now this is where the pulley is for the back, and sometimes it gets grass in here. Uh, this plastic shroud is supposed to keep all of that out, uh, but sometimes it doesn't. So I can see here that uh, I don't really see any problem with this back pulley. So that tells me either the problem is with the front pulley or it's from underneath. All right. Now one thing that's kind of interesting how this whole thing works is, you know, you think a lot of this stuff is high tech, but really it isn't. Uh, this right here, if you pull this up, right here, pull this up, that's what engages, that engages the, the drive to where it starts pulling forward, right? And all that that does is this wire, kind of like, a, you know, like a brakes on a bicycle, right? It goes to this right here and it actuates on the other side. So this pulls through, right? And what that does is, when I pull that, all it does is it pulls that up. See how that moved? It just puts a little tension on that belt. And once the tension goes on the belt, the belt starts to spin. And that's as high tech as it gets. Uh, when it's done like this, the belt's loose. It can't spin. It gets no traction. And then it doesn't work. But whenever you need it, you pull on it. It pulls it up. It spins. So that's as easy as it gets. Uh, just like on a bicycle, I imagine that after some time, you may have to do some uh, tightening on that. Uh, so I may end up having to do that. But let me check out the rest of the mower and see what else I can do. Right now, I'm going to put this back together and then check out the, the rest of the mower. And, uh, you know, uh, wouldn't it be great if I didn't have to put this back together if all I had to do is uh, go on my uh, video editor and just run everything in reverse? Wouldn't that be great for putting it back together? Put it in the vip sign, Dave. Yeah, I'll be arched the vip sign. Yeah, then I'll get it. 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 I'll get Okay, all back together. Oh, I wish it was that easy, but I had to actually put it back together. You know, this is reality, right? Hopefully you can see this. Um, you're not supposed to really tilt this very long on its side or at extreme angles uh, with gasoline still in the system. 
Uh, that could uh, cause some problems, make it hard to restart, uh, all kinds of things. But I can get away with a pretty decent tilt uh, without those problems happening. Uh, but I think you can see here on the video, uh, I got it tilted with one hand, hold the camera with another. But right here is a rock. See that rock right there? Underneath that belt on that pulley, that does not need to be there. That's what's causing me the problem. Like I said, I'm mowing over rocks and uh, that's what happens. That's what rocks do. They get in the way. <laughs> All right, now me see if I can try to get this free. I really wish I had. Okay. Okay, it turned out not to be a rock. Turned out to be a little piece of wood. A little piece of a stick that was stuck in there. Okay, so now I don't see any other problems other than that. All right, so uh, I know that's pretty simplistic. Uh, you just look and see if there's a problem and clear the problem. Uh, but sometimes that's all there is to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot, start it up, and see what's going to come of it. Uh, we have a nice flat surface here on this porch. Uh, so the the blade's just going to spin free. It's not going to hit anything on this flat surface. So I'm going to go ahead and start it here and see if I can't get it to work. So, all right. Yeah. Well, as you can see, it works great. Uh, it didn't take me too terribly long, even with doing all the video and everything. I estimate about 15 minutes. Uh, so it turned out pretty good. Hope this helps someone. Like and subscribe. And share.